Beat Somalia was composed of 10 amazing young people who work day in and day out to basically tell the world there's a humanitarian crisis going on in the Horn of Africa and to tell the world that people are dying, people are suffering, people need food. I was in charge of the TTC Subway Blitz where basically we had 10 subways all across the city. We had six to eight people at each station that were campaigning and saying these are the stats of what's going on in the Horn of Africa, you know, Somalia needs you, this is what's going on. Making sure that people knew, you know, there was 30,000 children almost on the brink of starvation. Over 11 million people who did not have any access to food or water. We connected with a Canadian nonprofit organization called Human Concern International. And Human Concern International has been working in Somalia for over two decades. And so they were able to basically, you know, assist us in terms of um, delivering 100% of the funds back home. The Canadian government was also um, receptive actually in terms of matching every single dollar that was raised. Through HCI um, in terms of Canada, Canada was able to raise about three million dollars. The campaign not only revived you know the humanitarian spirits in Canadians, it did all over the world. It did in young Somalis who were never really aware of what was going on back home. We had young people from all over the world contributing to the campaign. We had young people who were actively tweeting, actively ensuring that every um, everybody knew about this issue. It was a touching and obviously a, a humbling experience for me. It just made me realize that I need to be civically engaged and that this society has a responsibility and I have a responsibility as well. I really want to say thank you to Feed Somalia and everybody who really worked hard to make this a success.